Hi, I'm Josh with Woodland Mills. In this video, I want to talk about our new log loading ramp kit for our trailer series. In front of me on the ground, I've got the whole kit, how it comes packaged. Uh, the box it comes in is 84 inches long, 20 inches deep, and 9 inches tall. It weighs 106 pounds, fully packed. Uh, it's about 88 pounds or 40 kilograms of actual parts inside. If you purchase it when you buy the trailer uh, package, it's going to come included with the freight you've been charged for the trailer. If you purchase it at a later date, it's going to come on a skid just like you see here, and the freight will be determined when you order it at that point. Uh, I want to open this box up. I want to show you what it looks like inside, how it's been packed. I'll go through the components, and then we'll show you how it mounts to the trailer as well. You know, open the box and we'll see how it's all been packed so that we ensure it arrives the way it leaves our factory. So we've got a packing slip here. The packing slip is going to go through all the components and pieces that are in here. You're going to see the ramps themselves. I'm just going to lay it all out here in front. the ramp, number one. Ramp number two. And then there's a bunch of brackets and hardware that are gonna let us attach these ramps right inside the Woodlander trailer series. And what that'll allow you to do is when you're traveling between sites, you can pack all the ramps right inside of the trailer frame. And I'll show you that uh, as we go along here. I'll show you how it assembles, but these are all the pieces and the hardware you can expect to get. And you'll see how all this fits together when I take you to the trailer. We've got some mounting brackets with rubber insets. We also have a winch and a winch post that's going to come here. We use synthetic winch cable. And there's a few more brackets that allow it to, to clamp and be held secure. So now what I want to do is take you over to a Woodlander trailer that's had this entire kit assembled within it. I'll show you how it fits and then we'll show you how to use it to get a log up onto the trailer and up onto your sawmill. So inside of the Woodlander trailer that we have here, you'll see the bottom end of the ramps are protruding out the front. The bracket systems you saw inside the box have been installed on a cross member at the front and the third cross member back within the trailer. To get these ramps out, I'm gonna loosen off the clamp nuts Take off the bracket, same goes at the back. And then I'm going to pull these ramps out the front one at a time. And we like the idea of storing the ramps within the trailer because that means you don't have to have a pickup truck or something else to put them in when you're transporting or if you're pulling it by ATV or off-road vehicle these are quite large and bulky we have a trailer system here so we've designed it so they incorporate within the frame so you aren't handling them a bunch of times we've also designed them in the fit inside of our bunks so you'll see how they fit inside and they lower down so I'll just, and they lock onto the rails. And what that allows is it allows them to not rotate. It locks them in place. And then you'll see on the feet, we have a grip so it binds into the ground. So I'll grab the other ramp. I 
and these are quite heavy, but that's because they're rated to lift up to 3,000 pound logs. So we wanted to make the ramp sturdy enough to take logs that are, the mill is capable to mill. So we're gonna show you loading a log in a minute. Um, and this log is, it's a red oak. It's around 15 inches in diameter. Uh, it's nine feet long. We estimated at about eight or 900 pounds. But this is our HM130 series and that can take logs uh, quite a bit larger. So uh, up to 30 inches. So we've had to design the ramps to take the largest logs uh, at the 10 foot length for this machine. The winch system, the post you saw on the box, the winch comes with it. They get bolted together as part of the assembly. And this winch fits in the, the backstop pockets here. So fits in, you can tighten it in place. You're gonna put the rope on free spool and then I'm gonna go to the other side and we'll pull this out and I'll show you how we're gonna get a log up on the trailer. I'm also gonna show you how the removable fender works. So you'll see as I route the rope that the fender's gonna be in the way and we've made these fenders removable. There's a clamp bolt in the back here. There's also a locking pin in the bottom. So we wanna get this locking pin off. Let's come around this side. And then this fender is gonna lift off so we can keep it out of harm's way as we're loading our logs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, lo the log itself, now that we've got the ramps in place, we're gonna roll it up till it hits the end of the ramps. Uh, we've got a couple smaller logs laid down here to make it easy to roll. We also have our cant hook here. We're just gonna wanna butt it into the end of those ramps. From here, we're gonna take the cable or the synthetic rope and it goes over the log. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna give us the ability to use the fact that the log is round and it's gonna roll up the ramps. So instead of trying to drag this log up the ramps um, with the friction, we're gonna use the fact that it's a round log and we're gonna roll it up here like it's, it's a couple of wheels. I like to pass the hook through the bunk and then I can grab it on the other side and I hook it on. And then what that does is that gives me my operating position for loading the logs at the back here. So I just hook it onto the edge of the bunk at the back. You'll see it, it, it's really no effort for me to actually do the winding. It's a slow process because we want to make sure that it stays square and straight. We want to keep an eye that one side's not sliding ahead of the other. Because I've held the log in the middle, Easy to predict what it's gonna do. You'll see, we've just loaded a 900 pound log onto our Woodlander series without breaking a sweat and without being in a position where I had to handle the log more than just putting the rope over it. So, now I can just pull the rope out of the bunk. I can roll it up at the back. The post and the ramps 
can all just be put aside with my log pile for now. And then I'll be ready to use our sawmill on this log. Again, the, the post is just gonna lift right out and I can set it on the ground. And now we're ready to clamp this log and start milling. I hope you found this video informative. This is our new log loading ramp system for the Woodlander trailer series. And this has been Josh with Woodland Mills. Yeah.